Hi everyone, this is the second video I'm doing on how I made my keynote advert because I've been asked quite a lot about how to make it. So in the first video um, I covered how to draw um, great graphics by uh, tracing over photos and how you could do that as a, as a non-artist. I did that on this slide here where I got a photo of a pretty modern school in New Zealand and I used my favourite tool, the uh, Draw With Pen to click on all of the points of the photo in a few in a couple of minutes as just a separate shapes in different colors and then that allowed that to animate on as if it was being drawn um, like that so again just quickly clicking on the points of a photo and within two or three minutes I had this graphic all done but in this video I'm just going to talk more about the fact that things don't have to just be built in and built out, slide in and slide out of slides in Keynote. You've actually got some pretty advanced um, animation um, tools that uh, allows things to move around the slide when, when they're on the slide. Um, I did that for this slide here where um, um, you'll be able to see lots of separate moves within the slide to create this sort of building and dividing the words up there, you can see that. Um, so it's worth knowing that in Keynote, um, shapes, any shape you have, or, or graphic, or photo, can be not just built in or built out, but it can actually be given actions within the slide. So I can add actions like move, and it actually gives you a ghost, which you can tell it where you want it to move, and how fast you want it to get there. And when you finish the first move, you can carry on and add more and more afterwards like this and change the th time and if there are two objects which both have a similar move or a, have been given actions um, you can see here that both are the, now the same um, the build order at the bottom here allows you to say whether you want them to happen at the same time or happen after one another so this first shape is moving from there to up to the middle and then it moves down and then the second shape moves up to the top and then down. Okay, so if I preview that, one moves completely separate to the other. But what you can do in the in the um, build order is drag these around. So I can actually say that I want the first one to move with the second one. So now they're actually moving um, it as one movement. Um, this second one, I can tell it to move with rather than after. And you'll end up with the, the first move where they move together. I can then drag this one into here and this one into here, making sure they come after there. And this one goes with the one as well and now you'll see that they move together and together. So you can drag the order of the actions around as much as you want and the key thing is to say whether you want them with the previous one or after and whether you want to delay. So on this one here I simply took a group of objects that's the two students and the three words at the bottom here and all I had was the first word government comes in on its own so you'll be able to see here that the government's actions are one to the middle, two, three, four, but with those movements upwards, I've got this group moving with previous. So these, this group of other shapes, including the students, will now move with the government block that, that comes in on its own at the side to begin with. I've also then told two sets of uh, words here in text boxes that when the students get up to that height um, they're going to also with the moves um, divide up and you can see this one moves to the right. So again using all those options I was able to create this effect of them raising up and then dividing the words. Okay. I did the same with this one where I got the, I used the build in, I combined it all for this one. I got a photo from the internet, I drew my, use, I drew my 
lines by point to point and then curved the lines so that I had the world. Um, with these, I actually, for the format, there is a type of line um, you can use, um, which is fuzzy. So that gave that kind of crayon feel. Um, but under the animations, I just built the, all these little tiny lines inside here, um, which I sort of copied and pasted to, to give the effect that it was being colored in. So this created this effect. There you go, so New Zealand gets drawn onto the map. What I actually then thought would be nice would be if the world sort of rolled off the um, slide. It wouldn't do it very easily if with all these separate tiny shapes. So I decided that I'd need to copy and paste the slide, group the whole globe as one new object, and then I could use those actions to firstly um, fly the words out, but then rotate the globe, and while it rotated, move to the right with that rotation. So then you ended up with this nice effect where the world rolls away. Okay, so there you go. So that's how I was using animation in my Keynote advert. Thanks, guys.